checking with his friends to see if they approve of his deck selection. Ooh. I don't know oh, about all okay. that. Look at that OJ. OJ's doing his patented positive oh. shoulder rubs, and those things are going to give Nick the power he needs to box his, his way his through. His like patented it. shoulder rubs. He, 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 learned it. <laughs> he learned it while he was in the tribal circle. All right, we are jumping into battle right now. Double elixir, and you know because the King Tower is a pump itself. I think Nick's a little bit sensitive to the light. Nick at night. Shut off the light. Oh, no. Ooh, he's going Hall no hoodie now. Maybe, maybe he's overheating a little bit in there. One swing from the Hog Rider, two swings from the Hog Rider, and then Pekka makes short work of him. 2006, 1936 left. Valkyrie's going to catch that Dark Prince and then go on the other side, but that is a huge attack coming in there Yikes. between Pekka and Dark, or uh, Pekka and Prince. Scary assault. A log will knock him back and give the Executioner a little bit more time. The tornado sucks him away. Ice Spirit is not going to be enough to save him. A couple stabs from the Prince and that Executioner is not looking too healthy, Rumham. Somehow Executioner is still standing oh long God. enough for his brother Executioner to come out. And it's Valkyrie's just, gonna come down and block. There's just two brothers. two brothers. Two Executioners swinging an axe. Doing their best on defense. Uh, I think they're just two brothers. It's just two brothers. I don't know, Woody. This, this is sounding pretty improvisational. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I've ever he heard of anything like this before. <laughs> It's going to be a swing out the right side as the Executioners continue to exchange blows. We're going to see if we can get a big hit. The Lightning is going to save the day for Surge. Big hit on Tower and finishes off that blue Executioner. Wow, Lightning does not kill an Executioner, but the Log weakened it just enough for the Executioner to get finished off. Another Executioner Dear comes down, Lord. and there's a Log again! The Executioners cannot stop. This must be the French Revolution because a lot of these troops up top have been on the block today, Rumham. Surgical Goblin is known as one of the strongest cycle players in the world, and you can see why he is playing this perfectly, playing exactly the cards he needs at the right time to make sure he always has a good defense up. He has a 600 damage lead right now on Nick at night, but I think Nick has the better Double Elixir deck, which we are going into right now. Double Elixir kicks in. And Double Prince is at the left side, a sneaky attack from Nick and Knight, recognizing the difficulty of being able to burrow through this huge Executioner defense. The Bats have actually made some great inroads, getting over a thousand damage on the left side tower. And that Executioner is going to get sliced up by the P.E.K.K.A. Because the Executioner is on the bridge, there's uh -oh. no way for Go Surgical Goblin to put anything in front. Hold on. Was that intentional? Surgical just Goblin just played an Executioner at the left lane. He's trying to tornado to the troops in, but the Executioner oh, ignores no! him. Dark Prince straight to the tower, starts bashing it in, knocks the shield off with a log, but I don't know if he can stay for alive for much longer. This might be a tower trade. The Prince is coming in. 17 seconds left. Nick and Knight takes the tower. The Executioner on the other side is not doing enough as it gets pulled back, and Nick and Knight is going to do the impossible. Hold on. Hold on. It's not over Goblin. yet. Hog Rider's making his way toward the tower. One hit's good. Two oh! hits better. Nick and Knight does it! Nick and Knight does it! Oh my!